it's been a quite a while since I've shot a video. I don't know why. I've just been crazy busy. The kids are out of school now. And I'm just so busy running errands with them and taking them different places that I just haven't had a chance to shoot a video. But long awaited. Um, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and head on over to my Instagram and Facebook and give me a follow. It's a well-paced life is how you can follow me. And let's get started. This is, I've, this is a long-awaited review that I've wanted to do for you guys and I wanted to give it a long enough time before they were good and broken and I tried them out for a while at the gym to see how I liked them but further ado this is the Nike in season trainer 7 shoe um so let me get started by saying this is my absolute favorite training shoe love 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 it um, I have actually worn it so much now that it's actually kind of broken down. So I'm going to have to get a new pair, which is absolutely fine with me because I love my shoes. So the things I like about the in-season trainer seven is that it's so lightweight. It's super lightweight. Um, another thing that's important to me are long shoelaces and this is not like a flimsy shoelace. It's really long. There's plenty of room to double knot them and that's important to me. I cannot stand when there is a shoe that it's so short here and you can barely tighten it. So that's great. Um, another thing is that this is mesh all the way around here, um, on the foot as well. So it's very breathable. And another great point is that I do a lot of hit work as well as my weight training sessions. So what I typically do is I'll do my weight training sessions and then do some hit work and then possibly walk after that. So I'm in the gym for quite a while. So I'm not just lifting, um, I you know I'm really moving around. So something I really love about these is that they have just enough cushion to help you out with that. I do have another trainer shoe that I'll do a review on later that isn't as cushioned. And there's a big difference that I've noticed um, between the two. So this allows you to get your training session in as well as do some hit work afterwards. And the most important thing about trainers that you want to look for is the stability in it. The whole point of a trainer is that it has stability move from side to side and that your shoe or your foot and your footbed stay still in the shoe. Because if you plan on doing like hit work or um, just any high intensity or training work in running shoes, it's not gonna work, work as well and it's just not gonna support your foot as well. I have worn running shoes while I've done hit work and my feet are absolutely killing me. Um, so, love, love, love these. Uh, I am a nine and a half, which I order in all my shoes. And I would say, if anything, these run maybe a tad long. Um, but again, with jumping around and doing a lot of hit work, I like to have an extra bit of room in here. And the old standby is that you always have at least a thumb's width in between the tip of your shoe and your toe. So I've always gone by that. And I have definitely at least a thumb's width um, in the shoe to the tip. So uh i just i love it this has actually been my only black shoe i've ever purchased and i got over that pretty quickly i just always thought a black shoe was kind of masculine and i felt weird wearing it for a while and then like i said it, you quickly get over that and it's fine um i i guess i had in my head to wear like through the winter since i was going to be wearing more tights and capris that I can get away with wearing black and then through the summer I'm wearing more shorts so I like either a bright colored shoe or one that has white in it it's all in my head I know um, but I've always seen black shoes on other girls and they just look amazing they look fantastic but I love them I would 100% order the shoe again in fact I probably will um <clears throat> excuse me I have noticed that they are running some great sales on them. So I'll link a couple of re retailers down below for you guys to buy the shoes. Um, they're just, I can't say enough good things about them. They're lightweight. They have all the points that a trainer shoe should have. Just slight cushioning, stability, 
breathability and long shoelaces are a must. And if you wear orthotics as well, um, you actually can't remove the sole, so it's not removable, but you can try your orthotics just by slipping them in there. A lot of shoes you can slip out the sole, but these you actually can't. So this also comes in about five different colors as well. And like I said, the black just goes with everything. And I know, I don't think there's a in-season trainer eight out yet. I know the six was really popular and then the seven was really popular as well. So there you go, guys. I hope you liked my review. If you have any questions down below or shoot me some questions down below if you have any, and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks so much.